The story of the computer is a story of incredible innovation. It's about brilliant minds tackling seemingly impossible challenges. From humble beginnings to the world-changing technology we have today, computers have revolutionized our lives in countless ways. Join us as we journey through the decades, exploring the key milestones and the visionaries who made it all possible. The earliest computers were not the sleek devices we know today. They were often massive machines relying on gears, levers, and punch cards for their operations. But these early pioneers paved the way for the digital revolution that would follow. Our journey begins in the 19th century with Charles Babbage, an English mathematician and engineer who envisioned a mechanical general-purpose computer, the analytical engine. Though never completed, Babbage's design laid the groundwork for the fundamental principles of modern computing. Before the advent of electronics, computers relied on mechanical components to perform calculations. These machines, often enormous and complex, were a testament to human ingenuity. One notable example was the Difference Engine, designed by Charles Babbage in the early 1800s. The Difference Engine was intended to automate the production of mathematical tables, a task that was prone to human error. Another significant development in this era was the use of punch cards to store and process information. Herman Hollerith, an American inventor, developed a tabulating machine that used punch cards to analyze data from the 1890 United States Census. This innovation revolutionized data processing and laid the foundation for the use of punch cards in early computers. The mechanical era of computing, though limited by the technology of the time, established the foundation for the electronic revolution that would soon follow. These early machines demonstrated the potential of automated computation and inspired future generations of computer scientists and engineers. The dawn of the electronic age marked a turning point in the history of computing. Electronic components such as vacuum tubes and relays replaced their mechanical counterparts, paving the way for faster and more reliable machines. One of the earliest examples of an electronic computer was the Atenasoff Berry computer, built in the late 1930s by John Atenasoff and Clifford Berry. World War II spurred further advancements in electronic computing. The need for complex calculations for ballistics and code-breaking led to the development of Colossus in Britain and ENIAC in the United States. These massive machines, often filling entire rooms, demonstrated the incredible power of electronic computation. The invention of the transistor in 1947 revolutionized electronics and paved the way for smaller, faster, and more energy-efficient computers. Transistors, tiny semiconductor devices, replaced bulky vacuum tubes, marking a significant step towards the miniaturization of computers. The 1950s and 60s witnessed the rise of mainframe computers, large and expensive systems primarily used by governments, universities, and large businesses. These machines, often housed in dedicated climate-controlled rooms, represented the cutting edge of computing power. IBM, a leading force in the computer industry, introduced its system 360 mainframe in 1964, which became a commercial success. The System 360's modular design allowed businesses to scale their computing power as needed. Software development also advanced during this era, with the emergence of high-level programming languages like Fortran and COBOL. These languages made it easier for programmers to write complex instructions, further expanding the capabilities of mainframe computers. The rise of mainframes democratized computing to some extent, making it accessible to a wider range of organizations. However, computers were still largely out of reach for individuals due to their size and cost. Section 5. The Microprocessor Revolution – Small Chips – Big Impact The invention of the microprocessor in 1971 by Intel Corporation marked a pivotal moment in the history of computing. This tiny chip, the Intel 4004, contained all the essential components of a central processing unit, or CPU, on a single integrated circuit. The microprocessor revolutionized the computer industry, leading to the development of smaller, more affordable computers. No longer were computers confined to large institutions. They were now within reach of individuals. The Altair 8800, introduced in 1975, was one of the first commercially successful microcomputers. Sold as a kit, the Altair 8800 ignited the imaginations of hobbyists and entrepreneurs alike. This era also saw the emergence of companies like Apple Computer, founded in 1976. 
and Microsoft, founded in 1975. These companies would play a pivotal role in bringing personal computers to the masses. Section 6. The Personal Computer Empowering Individuals the late 1970s and early 1980s witnessed the explosion of the personal computer market. Companies like Apple, Commodore, and IBM introduced user-friendly computers that were affordable for individuals and small businesses. Apple's Apple II, released in 1977, was one of the first commercially successful personal computers. Its color graphics and user-friendly interface made it a popular choice for home and educational use. IBM entered the PC market in 1981 with its IBM personal computer which quickly became the industry standard. The IBM PC's open architecture allowed other companies to manufacture compatible hardware and software, leading to a rapid expansion of the PC market. The development of graphical user interfaces, or GUIs, such as Apple's Macintosh operating system released in 1984, and Microsoft Windows released in 1985, made computers even more user-friendly. GUIs replaced command line interfaces with intuitive icons and windows, making computers accessible to a wider audience. Section 7. The Internet Age Connecting the World The 1990s saw the rise of the Internet and the World Wide Web, transforming communication and business. Tim Berners-Lee's World Wide Web in 1989 made the Internet accessible to the public. The web provided a user-friendly way to share information. Browsers like Mosaic and Netscape Navigator made navigation easy. The late 1990s saw the rise of dot-com companies. The Internet now connects people and information globally. Section 8. The Mobile Revolution – Computing in Your Pocket the 21st century witnessed a shift from desktop computers to mobile devices. The introduction of the iPhone by Apple in 2007 revolutionized the mobile phone industry and ushered in the era of the smartphone. Smartphones combined the capabilities of mobile phones, personal computers, and internet-connected devices. With their powerful processors, high-resolution displays, and access to a vast library of apps, Smartphones have become indispensable tools for communication, entertainment, productivity, and much more. The mobile revolution has also led to the development of other mobile devices, such as tablets and wearable technology. Tablets, larger than smartphones but smaller than laptops, offer a balance between portability and functionality. Wearable technology, such as smartwatches and fitness trackers, provide users with on-the-go access to information and health monitoring capabilities. The proliferation of mobile devices has led to a world where computing is no longer confined to a desk or even a home. We now have access to information and computing power wherever we go. Section 9. The Cloud Era Computing Everywhere The rise of cloud computing has transformed how we access and use computing resources. Users can access data, software, and processing power over the Internet. Cloud computing relies on vast data centers for on-demand access to resources. This allows scaling of computing needs without investing in expensive hardware. Say AS delivers software over the internet, accessible from any device. The cloud era has made computing more accessible, affordable, and scalable. Section 10. Artificial Intelligence – The Next Frontier AI is rapidly emerging as one of the most transformative technologies of our time. It involves developing systems that perform tasks requiring human intelligence. AI is used in virtual assistants, self-driving cars, and medical tools. As AI advances, it could revolutionize industries and our lives. However, AI raises ethical concerns about job displacement and privacy. Section 11. Conclusion. The Future of Computing. The evolution of computers from mechanical calculators to powerful AI-enabled devices is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of progress. From the early pioneers who envisioned machines that could perform complex calculations to the innovators who brought computing to the masses, the history of computing is filled with remarkable achievements. As technology continues to advance at an exponential pace, the future of computing promises even more exciting possibilities. Quantum computing, which harnesses the principles of quantum mechanics, has the potential to revolutionize fields such as medicine, materials science, and artificial intelligence. The convergence of technologies like artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, 
and extended reality is blurring the lines between the physical and digital worlds. We are entering an era of ubiquitous computing where technology is seamlessly integrated into our lives. The journey of computing is far from over. As we explore the frontiers of technological innovation, we can expect even more profound changes in the way we live, work, and interact with the world around us.